joining us. A nearly 9% property tax increase for Duluth homeowners remains on the table tonight. The proposed hike was introduced in September, and tonight, community members got a chance to let city councilors know what they think of the idea. Northern News Now's Larissa Millis was there. In September, the Duluth City Council approved a proposal that would increase city property taxes by 8.9% in 2023. That decision sparked debate in the community. I understand that budgets are tight, but as you can imagine, we've heard from several of our members, several local businesses, several developers who are very concerned about the uh, increasing levies. Two city councilors, Vice President Janet Kennedy and Councilor Roz Randorf, each proposed an amendment to that proposal, lowering that tax by 1 and 2% respectively. I get it. We need to tighten our belts. But we also need to make sure we're considering the whole picture. To make up the difference, Kennedy's amendment would pull from American Rescue Plan funds and city expenditures. Randorf's plan would make up the difference by permanently adjusting city spending. Any other way to reduce this one time with money, ARP, anything else, it is smoke and mirrors. It is just a temporary fix that we'll end up paying for next year. At Monday night's city council meeting, a public hearing was held where community members voiced their opinions on the proposed tax and amendments. However, the property tax increases have a significant impact on mortgage payments and affordable housing. For example, in my own situation, the property tax escrow portion of my mortgage payment will go from 21% of the mortgage payment in 2012 to approximately 32% of my mortgage payment in 2023. Duluth Chief Administrative Officer Noah Shuckman said city administration does not support either amendment to lower property taxes, but asked if councillors did vote in favor for one, that it be Councillor Kennedy's 1% decrease. In Duluth, Larissa Millis, Northern News Now. And the council is actually still meeting right now. They have not yet voted on either of those amendments.